Hi, I'm Nancy from Cooking with Nancy's channel. Uh, today I've I've cooked, uh, I've baked a little cake uh, with upside down banana cake using from the uh, uh, I found my uh, my kitchen country kitchen cookbook where all the second year students at TAF College uh, have been selected by our three lecturers to come back in the night to work on a few recipes so it can be compiled into this book and I've done quite a few things in the book uh, like um, a lake of lamb, a crusty parmesan lake of lamb and uh, fan out all the pears to be stewed and also some uh, herb uh, scones uh, and also uh, what else yes butter curls and things like that and also arrange uh, strawberry on top of a flan and glaze it for all for food photography so I've tried out this upside down banana cake and this is how it turns out like what I've used here is uh, uh, I've used half a cup of brown sugar and what else two bananas and also 60 grams of uh, butter where you cream the butter with the brown sugar and I put it into a, a, a little saucepan which it works like an oven because it's got a vent on top and uh, I spread it all out the brown sugar and I layered two sliced bananas on the top on the bottom of the pan then the rest of the filling of the cake is I've used um, I've used half a cup of cashew sugar two eggs 125 grams of butter and two bananas instead of one two small bananas and one third cup of coconut desiccated coconut and one teaspoon vanilla essence one and a half cup self-raising flour which is the organic one I used a pinch of salt and half a cup of milk instead of milk I've used soya, uh, soya milk so it's a usual cake making method where you cream the butter and caster sugar till they are nice and creamy and you add in uh, your eggs, beaten eggs, bit by bit and if it curdles, just add a little bit of the shifted flour and that will do the trick uh, then after that I folded in the rest of the coconut milk with the flour and also I added in the soy milk as I went along so it is nice and moist and when I pick up the whole mixture into my spoon and give, gave it a flick it dropped on the count of three and I find that that consistency is just correct. So I uh, put everything in the in the, my little saucepan, and I baked it for about forty minutes until uh, I put a skewer through and it comes out clean. So I waited for another five minutes before I turned the cake out onto my cake rack, and now I think it's pretty cool. Yes, for me to. Uh, remove it to a plate and I'm going to have a taste now so it looks uh, very nice with all the brown sugar all caramel on top and uh, for those who have a sweet tooth you can uh, further serve this cake uh, with whipped cream or custard if you like I'm so uh, a cake is pretty easy to do it's just that you need to have muscles if you are wood using a wooden spoon or you can use your cake mixer. Uh, I did it the hard way <laughs> because my food um, or my uh, cake mix, uh, Kenwood cake mix mixer is already spoiled and I hardly cook any more cakes because um, I don't take, we don't take too uh, sweet food, too much cakes in the house uh, due to watching our waistline. Okay, bye. Thank you.